Whatever, I mean. <laughs> oh, 17. I know what you mean. We can go anywhere, even if there's nothing there. I don't really care. You act as if you don't care. It is toxic love fame. It is hard to me to do something, but this makes me make me. We have time for one more game, I think. One more game. Uh, let's play the Dutch, because obviously I'm not going to play the Dutch in the candidates. I mean, we all know I'm not playing it. I think Jay Cavalli for the eight months. Actually, no, let's play the... Uh, this is the vampire with the fangs again. You, you create the two fangs with C5 and... Or C5 and F5. So let's go E5 here. Seven queens, man. Seven queens. I can make a bad joke there, too, which I will refrain from. Good night of six here. You know, I'm a Q. Wow for the prime. Yeah, go King C7. I could make a very bad joke uh, about certain places in the US, but I, I, I will refrain. I will refrain from it, you guys. Let's take and go Bishop E7 here. Okay, I can play F5 here, maybe Bishop F6, maybe Knight C6. Oh, let's go F5, kick the Knight out. I can play Knight C6, maybe Bishop F6. Um, pretty good position here, maybe Knight C6. I like my pawn structure here. Very, very pleasant position. Isn't white better here? No, actually, I'm a little bit better because I can sort of develop and I have the two bishops. This bishop is better than this knight very specifically because the knight can't jump at all. As Palpatine would say, do it. Okay. Am I religious? Not really. I think let people live and let live. That's my attitude. Let's go knight before and take the bishop here. I know I'm going to prove the power of two bishops. Uh, versus two two knights. Go rookie eight here. I'm actually not much better here, I realized. Yeah, he's got 95, which is a very good move. Not really better. Take. Go here, target the pawn, maybe king d6. reason I should still be better here is that the squares are still covered so it's slightly better go b6 consolidate here and his knights just don't have squares R rookie, rookie d1 was a bad move or knight f3 was a bad move but go here line up the 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 x in the center of the board and I'm gonna go here so now I take away squares this knight has no jumps this bishop I mean these these knights just have no jumps here every square is covered by everything Go h6 to stop the knight jump. Do you think you would have saved your lost bishops during the Grand Prix a few years ago? Ooh, that's a tough question. That's a really tough question. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I think that I would have saved the one against Esipenko a couple of years ago. I think I would have saved that one. I do not think I would have saved the games, though, against Esipenko or Oparin in the third Grand Prix if this was a couple of years ago. I'm going to go b4 now. I take even more squares. I go here. Yeah, I think I would have saved the first one, but I would not have saved. I would not have saved the second and third round games that I played in the Grand Prix this time around. I would have lost one, if not both of those games if it was a couple of years ago. Let's go rookie eight and take the pawn on a2. Then I'll tell you why. I would have lost because I, I would have I would have like I would have felt like the world was ending. I would have been really negative. And I would have been I wouldn't have been expecting something good to happen regardless. That that's that's what I think. If I consider running for president, no interest, you guys. I mean, come on, you see these articles that come out now and like already there's stuff in them that that I feel like is 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 not exactly uh, is not exactly correct. Like, why would I why would I want to like amplify that by like 100? Let's just take the pawn here. Let's take the pawn.
Okay, we got our four rooks. Okay, so he's trying to resist. I'm going to force him to take the bishop, whether he likes it or not. Yeah. Oh, I can't actually mate him the way I want to. How do I mate uh, correctly? There we go. Oh, I actually, how do I do this? I can't actually mate him. Why can't I mate him? No, I, I don't see how to do it. So, All right, let's do one more game. One more. Obviously, obviously I'm not going to play e4. Uh, so let's play the wayward queen attack because this or the form of checkmate. This is a very aggressive approach. Let's go knight f3 here. Go c3, maybe d4 next move. I had to move the e rook. Okay, it happens. Let's go d3, bishop g5. Yeah, we, I, I actually need to uh, I need to end this game pretty quickly because we, we're not going to play any more games. So I have to play Arena Kings. It's just starting in like six minutes, I just realized. So I might have to go Super Cyan mode here and just uh, just end this game quickly. Go h3, stop Bishop g4. Yeah, this is actually not going well. Go here and trade. Did I say something wrong? Super Cyan, Super Cyan, Super Cyan, whatever. I don't know. I speak English, you guys. I don't speak Japanese. Let's take here. Um, I guess I can go Bishop D5. I can also go Bishop F5 here. Uh, and we, we go from there. Um, let me just go King here, maybe, and just take. Oh my gosh, he found Bishop F4. Ridiculous. Okay, I actually might have to work to win this game. Very annoying. I didn't mean to go Knight G1. Wait a second. I have to be very careful. Uh, let's go here. Oh, he blunders. There we go. Finally, he makes a blunder. He defended really, really well. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're obviously not going to play the Dutch, right? It's not. It's not our kind of opening for the candidates tournament. Let's go D six here. I don't have. I don't even know where that hat is. Let's go C six here. I missed the rainy kings. Yes, you guys. I did win. Yeah. Who's this? I was watching Levy. Let's go G six here. Bishop G seven. Apparently. I, I thought there was something really funny, by the way. Somewhere in there, I saw a comment when my video was playing where they said, um, they said, uh, what did they say? They said, I bet this guy doesn't know what COVID is uh, or what Corona is. And yeah, you guys would be right. That video that we were playing was uh, before Corona. Those were the old days, you guys. So funny to see you stream when your candidate's contender. Well, you guys, I mean, I'm a streamer first. I'm very proud of it. I'm thankful to all you guys for all the support over the many years. And I do appreciate it. Thank you. I went and just had some salad in the, in the living room. I just took, just cleared my head for a second, went and had some salad, and that's that. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a streamer first, you guys. Streamer first, chess player second. So, I don't know, is that maybe that maybe most people assume I'm a, a chess player first or something, but I'm not. I'm a streamer first. Let's take. I guess I'll go uh, free rook, Don Kishan, my friend. I should get that look back one day, maybe. Streamer versus Cap, of course, I'm sure. Who won Arena Kings? This streamer won Arena Kings. This streamer. Let's go Bishop E5 here. All right, let's take the Bishop here. Uh, let's go back.
Oh, did you now? Oh, did you? Yes. This chess player, yeah. I can't believe you won again. I can't keep getting away with it, right? I can't keep winning events and taking money from from these these uh, these professional chess players, right? Let's go a6 here, knight a3, maybe b5, maybe bishop d7. Yeah. I hate how 1500s are just a joke. You, I've been struggling so much mid game, dude. I've spent like 20 plus years playing chess, and I mean, I happen to be very phenomenally talented too. So, I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I mean, it's just it's chess. Enjoy it. Enjoy the game. Enjoy it. Let's go g5 and g4. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's go bishop some bishop h5. <laughs> Am I not? <laughs> um, okay. Shock. I collect the rook on d1 here. It's good. Uh, actually, wait. It's 2022. So I started playing when I was seven, right after I turned seven. So it would have been 1994, December 90. Or no, wait. 88 is one, 89, 90 is three. So yeah, it would have been 94. So no wait, this was probably late 93. It was like November, December 93 when my parents got married. I still didn't play chess. So yeah, it would have been early 94. Early 1994 is when I started. So that would be, yeah, 28 years ago, you guys. Yeah, 20, 20, 28 long years ago. Yeah. 28, no? 1994, 2022 minus 1994 is 28 years ago. Yeah. He's like, a, he's like, though, amazingly phenomenal. Not just phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. 28 years of chess. Holy something. Yeah, I agree. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am currently, I believe I'm 34. I don't actually know. Because I haven't celebrated my last, like, several birthdays, honestly. So, I think I'm 34, though. That sounds right. Yeah. Uh, let's play the uh, let's play the Polish defense with black here. Yeah, no, I haven't celebrated my birthdays in a long time. I had a very light birthday celebration maybe last year was it or two years ago, but I don't really celebrate anymore. Yeah, and that's after literally celebrating ten birthdays in um ten birthdays in the United Kingdom in a row. What the fridge? Why didn't he just take right away and guard the bishop? Did he not realize that horses move backwards? I look 18. Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't, but thank you. Oh, chess.com article said I'm the oldest player. Well, shame on chess.com for not paying attention to Timur Rajbov and just believing what the commentator said and what I agreed with. Did they, did, did, did wait, are you guys serious? In the chess.com article, did they really say I'm the oldest player? Did they really not fact check the article? Yes. No, I don't know. Yes, no. Oh, they did say Rajabov? Oh, okay, okay. They did mention that Rajabov. Okay, good. I was going to say, if they actually said I'm older, they just believed what Daniel thought and what I thought and we all thought, that would have been pretty poor, but they did. Okay. We want to make a Hikaru birthday party. Well, maybe I'll do a, do a, a, like a meetup in Florida or something. Maybe just like a meetup in like Tampa. Maybe I'll go to the northwestern side and do like a big meetup, just like I don't know, go go around a baseball field or something. Let's take maybe take on a four here. It's actually, I mean, it's not. It's actually a real thought. Like it's something I've thought about a little bit. So I don't know. I really like the Nick Merck style. I'm not gonna lie. Go here and check. Let's do the classic five rook checkmate. Let's see if I can actually do the mate correctly. I 
I think I finally figured it out, right? Wait, how do I make the checkmate here? What? Oh, this is how I do it, yes. Wait, it still doesn't work. Wait, what? Whatever, I mean. <laughs> let's go E4. Play Queen H5. Okay, let's go Knight at 3 Knight C3. Okay, that's funny. Yeah. I was actually kind of wondering what was going on. I thought I thought it was, I actually felt like a repetition was close. Uh, not not the 50 move roll, but I thought a threefold was really close there. Yeah. Okay, let's go here and take on H7 and play H4. Yeah, the highlight of his career indeed. Let's take. Yeah. Play knight c3 next. I'm gonna keep going. Let's go here and take. I guess. Maybe H4 next move. Uh, actually, I can just take on H6. This time, I'm just going to win the next couple games quickly. Yeah, draw. Yeah. Yeah. Candidate, by the way. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, true. Let's go check him, mate. Had to step out of his first try. I walked into 50 move rule. Go here, and I think it's actually just checkmate next move. Uh, when do you have time for Candace prep? Do you want to see when? Well, I am cutting back my, on my schedule a little bit. Um, I have to be honest. Um, so I'll be taking Thursday and Friday off this week before coming back for the RCC. So because of that, um, uh, because of that, like that, that is the way that I intend to start wor working it. Um, is that I'll start, I'll start cutting back. I think it's actually just a forced checkmate almost. It's just like forced checkmate. That's me. Let's keep going. Yeah.